Namaste engineers welcome back to my series on mastering neovem before we begin on this topic of neovem i also want to give a big shout out to capable package 6835 the feedback that he has given me is invaluable and i just want to thank you again in my previous video we explored lazywem a fantastic starter configuration like quick street food dosa for coders today we're diving into astro neovem a modular community driven setup that's like a customizable indian thali You pick the plugins to craft your perfect coding meal. We'll install Astro NVM, explore its features, and customize it. All pure NeoVim goodness. So let's get coding. Let's set up Astro NVM from scratch. It's as simple as cloning a repository, like downloading a recipe for your favorite biryani. So let's quickly get to the website and check it out. Before installing Astro NVM, ensure that you have these requirements installed. Nerd Fonts is an open source. font repository very easily you can download multiple unique fonts for your installation tree seater cli ensure that you have a clipboard tool for example on my system right now since i'm using fedora atomic desktop and wayland what happens in this situation is the clipboards are completely detached so my instance astro nvim instance and my actual operating system clipboards are are not attached to each other for that i need to set up a little bit more Uh, which is not part of this video moving forward ensure that your terminal has true color support most systems today have this terminal with true color support available however it's good to check your distro or your operating system and your terminal once optional requirements if you want to enable certain different plugins certain different features node is needed for a lot of lsps for example if you want to run eslint on your system uh it requires that pyrite as an lsp requires node js installed and there's multiple more available that you know require node js these days quickly jumping into installation what we need to do is first ensure that we have a clean configuration available to do that simply move your older configuration into a backup file copy this command so just go over to your terminal and simply copy and paste the mv command which just moves your existing configuration from your config dot dot config slash nvim over to a backup file. I'm going to name this a little different nvim dot astro. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just moving my nvim configuration out inside of this. That's it, and you have a almost clean slate to work with. If I run an ls over my dot config and you can see that i have nvim dot astro nvim dot lazy and nvim dot nv chat you can separate your nvim configurations only the one with the slash nvim will work the first thing that we need to clear is our share folders and you move it out of your current shares current states basically run a clean cut of your neovim situation i can also run a nvim clean installation by running nvim double hyphen clean and i will get a naked clean nvim even if i have a flavor installed on top of it moving forward with our installation simply click copy git clone depth 1 and copy and paste it into your nvim configurations go back to your terminal copy and paste that's it and then finally rmrf/config slash nvim slash dot git this will delete your git dot git folder effectively detaching your nvim or astro nvim configuration that's it installation for astro is done now that we have our astro nvim setup done let's quickly jump into nvim and see what it looks like first i'll quickly go to the repository which we had created for our neovim lazywim tutorials Let's use the same neovim tutorial directory, nvim dot, and you can see that it immediately starts loading up and installing all the plugins, similar to how lazywim was working out. If I do nvim, just nvim, I can see my dashboard coming up of Astro Neovim, which tells me that I have successfully installed Astro Neovim. If I do nvim dot, you can see that it opens up my file explorer or Neovim tree or Neo tree. which it helps me explore now on this screen you can see that there is a folder tree there is a buffer tree and then there is a git tree 
to shift between trees or sorry my bad to shift between buffers they are individually called buffers we'll use the same command or key maps as we used in lazy web which is left box bracket and small b to go to our previous buffer whereas right box bracket and small b will take us to the next buffer okay so we have basics of movement down you can use h j k l you can also use d to delete now, rename the similar to the key maps that you had earlier for lazy web the same key maps key maps are can be used here as well now if i want to open my main pi file main.py file simply press enter and you can see the stacking difference that comes first in astro neo web it it takes you right into the thickness of it all you can use the same control d to move across scroll up and scroll down control d control u control d to go down control u to go up scroll up control b control f control b and f to move forward and backward on the file let's continue our setup of astro neo web as per the documentation it says enter lsp install simply press colon lsp install and if you press enter it will give you a picker or a small dialog box which will help you download or install what lsps you want i have installed rough on my system you can install other things for the file type of python okay moving back to our website installation guided installation let's see it then says to install a language parser enter colon ts install okay colon ts install i press enter it says i need a argument so ts install will not give you a dialog box okay i have python parser already installed I've installed and done so it downloads a tree seater it downloads the parser basically sets up the entire neovim for your language in my case right now it is python next what we need to do install is a dap or debugger debug adapter for our language i'll say dap install my bad dap install i'll say python and it will start installing other inventories other packages plugins on mason which are available on mason for my particular language so now that i've done my installation of language supporting let's check out what happens with lazy since astro neo vim uses lazy as its plugin manager we'll just do a lazy check and it will check whether all my plugins are installed there's multiple plugins that you can check out are pre-installed and shipped by default you can enable disable them should you need them um, you can set up your own customized configurations etc so my lazy is installed it's checked up i can also run different commands there are shortcuts available for example i can do if i want to check if my lazy installations are perfectly fine i'll just press so i want to check and update all my plugins that are installed and also make sure that all my mason plugins are updated to the latest uh, available vari uh, versions and compatible versions simply press space then if if you see there's a shortcut available for p called packages this holds all your shortcuts or key maps for updating lazy updating mason other plugins and so on so if i press i it will start installing all the plugins that are there if they were not installed from before if i do p and a it starts updating not just lazy plugins using the lazy plugin manager but also my language parsers the lsp uh, lsps so basically anything that comes through mason gets updated as well all right that closes our basics of installation and configuring and setting up of astro nvim astro nvim is starkly different compared to lazy nvim or lazy vim wherein astro gives you the ability to use something called astro community you can enable and disable these plugins and recipes as per your choices what i'm going to do is run you through the tutorial and install let's just quickly copy and paste so what this does is it uses the astrocommunity.completion repository finds that particular plugin 
copilot dash lua for example and downloads these on your um astrovim deployment to do that let's quickly get out of this neovim tutorial folder let's run nvim dot slash config slash nvim i'm inside the nvim folder i go to lua plugins sorry i go to lua community dot lua and you can see i can just simply copy and paste all right but before you do that ensure that you delete the first line in the file this line essentially stops any further processing that is happening just make it a little bit neat save and if you see on the top right corner of your screen the config has changed astro neovim will start installing all the new plugins that come with copilot hyphen lua exit now if i reload it will start installing astro community as a plugin copilot.lua as part of that deployment and i get a bunch of notifications lovely let's also install the language packs that come with this um these language packs include things like tree sitters the language server itself the testing modules um uh, plugins etc so let's just quickly install rust and python as well lua community.lua go to j shift o and then paste see as you can see um a few recommendations are coming from copilot lua which tells me that my copilot setting is already working now i can just press tab and get all of this done or i can leave it for you to test apply and tell me how it feels and we are done now if i run nvim dot it will install those plugins ensure that i have all the abilities and all the formatters and so on now i'm getting a bunch of notifications that's because there is a issue with black i sort and rough together in python um and also pyrite that we can resolve off that i'll resolve off screen and not bug you down with this introductory tutorial to neovim and that's about it you have your installations done your setup done your language is done and an introduction to astro community as you if you go through the documentation on astro neovim's website there's multiple predefined recipes available so should you want to do con should you want to configure language servers in a different way in much more personalized way i recommend that you go through it read through this documentation at least once that will give you an idea how flexible astro neovim is if you encounter errors like missing git or node or pyrite anything like that you can simply run check health to see the status of your neovim installation let's open a sample file startup dashboard.lua to see astrovim astro neovim in action astro neovim comes with a lot of features pre baked in just like lazywim and you can build and create you know you can customize it to your need it comes in with lsp tree setter a sleek ui and much more so let's explore astro neovim's lsp provides diagnostics and completions out of the box for example let's just type lua startup is equal to i'll say curly brackets campaign and then well copilot is doing it for me um but that's fine for this tutorial i think i will disable copilot so as you can see i have now completed the function that i wanted to create the file startup dashboard lua and if i do shift k on let's say startup i can see that i can sorry if i do shift k on startup i can see that it gives me the entire structure of that particular variable or class or table in in lua's case if i do shift k on name it gives me the fields fields type and the fields value and if i go to tasks and i do shift k it tells me tasks with in and has another table inside of it so 1 2 3 4 are table indexes easy to read easy to understand for j if i go to function and i do shift k on the keyword function it gives me the function's definition which is integrate underscore api with an argument of task id and then the table below it 
or I should say it returns a table. All right. If you see the different kind of highlights that are there, a function name is denoted in blue, um, a argument or a value, uh, sorry, an argument is denoted in a, an argument or a parameter is denoted with orange is yellow. Fields are denoted in red and white denotes my variables or tables, initial tables. All right. Whereas I pairs again is a custom function within of this, within Lua. Uh, it's a keyword to be used and reserved. I pairs is a reserved keyword. Error is a reserved keyword. So if I go to error um, and I do shift K, it'll tell me the definition of errors. Next, we come on to our uh, status line and tab line. The status line is nothing but your bar at the bottom. It gives you a status of what language you're using, the language server that is active, plugins that are active at this very moment in this particular file, then which line number and which column number are you at, and percentage in the, in the entire document. This is all similar to LazyWeb. Space and E, you can see that my Explorer comes up. It's the same configuration, same key map that we have at LazyWeb. Uh, you can explore and navigate across different files and folders as you wish. So if I do space FF, it shows me my fuzzy finder and I can then choose which file I want to use or open. I can do temp file.py and it opens the temp file.py for me. Remember switching buffers, box bracket B and then I'm switched over. You can also use space F and then capital F, which does a search across your root directory, not just your current working directory. Fuzzy finding in, in AstroVim, NeoVim in general is like finding the best stall when you're going to the market without actually looking through every single stall and finding out, okay, this is the best one, etc. Or this is the one that I want to visit. You have a simple search at just a few key, key binds um, available. These key maps are Astro NeoVim's defaults clearly displayed with the same plugin that we use in LazyWim, which key. And so you always know what to do or what not to do by, spa by pressing space. If you want to see the default NeoVim, simply press space and then backspace. You'll see all the keywords or all the key maps for your default NeoVim setup. Now bear in mind that different NeoVim flavors like AstroVim and WeChat and LazyWim all come with different key maps and some of them rebind your default key maps. Although they don't try to do it as much and keep it as easy for you to use as possible, but it's best to just check it out check out the key maps once before you get into and start using it. We've seen how AstroVim is ever so slightly different, but also gives you a little bit more flexibility. But I'll be very honest, whether it is Astro NeoVim, NeoVim, LazyVim, or NVChad, all of these things, all of these flavors are basically NeoVim. Next time we're diving into NVChad, a slick, a slick fast config that's like a polished Tosa, ready to impress. Subscribe. Share your Astro NeoVim tweaks in the comments and let's continue our NeoVim journey. See you again next time. Bye.